Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and I am here with a Timu haul for you today. So let's get started. Let's do a couple of Timu items before we start chit chatting like we normally do on here. I got, thankfully, on Saturday, an order, a Timu order came in and I thought it was gonna have to be, so I'm on vacation right now. And so I really wanted to get some videos done for you guys for while I was gone. And luckily some Timu arrived on Saturday in my world. And so I've got some stuff to haul for you. So first off is a pair of glasses that my daughter picked out, my seventh grader. And she sometimes will use some of her allowance or babysitting money to tag in on an order I'm doing. She really likes their clear glasses. So this is the second pair she's bought from them. And they're just, there's no prescription or reading intensity or anything. They are just fake glasses. And this, this one is a little, well, I guess it's getting a little bit better. It was a little tight when I first opened it. And let's just, ugh. see, you can't, well, I can't even see what that looks like, but let's do a comparison. So anyway, she got these and oh, I thought I was in the order already. Sorry about that. Okay. Where did they go? I think I just passed them. Okay. Women's round glasses, plastic frame, rice, nail style, college style, anti-eye strain clear anti-eye strain there's nothing in these clear lens suitable for daily decoration use so yes just for decoration or as i will say fashion and she paid 248 we did get two price adjustments and today they are 248 so if you are in the market for, well, reading glasses, Timu is a great source for reading glasses, but they also have a ton. And we've seen if you've been around for any, well, if you were around from the beginning, I know that there are some of you still out there. I used to haul fashion glasses all the time because I was determined that I was going to get contacts and then I would be able to wear all of those fashion glasses and it turns out the contact thing just didn't work for me so and of course all the fashion glasses I picked out aren't cool enough for the kids to wear I because I never would have picked out this because <laughs> this is like if I'm gonna wear glasses it needs to add to my look and so yeah so anyway she really likes these so she got that and sorry, it feels a little disjarring to me to just start in right away with a product and not talk to you guys first, but I'll explain that in a minute. All right, so next is a mushroom sponge. I got this because of the, the case. So this is the kind of sponge I use to put on my cushion cream, which I use for a foundation. And I think in this bag, I've got a replacement of that, but we're, we're getting ready to travel. Well, in your world, no, that's not true. I was gonna say in your world I'm traveling, but who knows when, when you might come across this video. But in my world, I will be traveling on vacation 
and so I wanted to get a, I've got a case like this for my concealer one that I use, but I didn't have one for my just regular everyday foundation one, so that's why I got this one. And, you know, I probably will leave it sit like this most of the time because you don't really want to close it up while it's still damp with whatever you just did that day. So after, you know, if you store it in this, you should store it probably like this until a little bit later in the day when you can put the lid on. Or obviously when you're traveling so that you don't get other things on it. But I find that I also, my current one that I use gets dusty like from the air and so that'll it'll be nice to kind of help with that too I think but this is one piece round head mini mushroom makeup sponge dual use you can use it dry or wet non-stick foundation applicator puff with portable handle cosmetic blender so yeah I like this style much better than the beauty blenders so I like having a hard thing to hold on to and this shape just works well for me I mean it's a little bit hard sometimes to get up here in in that area but they do make like this they called this one a small or a mini one but they do make ones that are actually mini that are like the size of your you know finger that can get into some of those other places but this has been fine for I mean who am I trying to impress so this has been fine for me and today it's on it's selling for 79 cents so okay we've got a couple Timu items out of the way now why am I just jumping right in because as part of the influencer program, which anybody can be an influencer, and you can there's links to all that stuff in my description, you now have to submit these for pre-approval. And I submitted one for approval and I hadn't started talking about Timu soon enough in the video. And so they they said no. So that's why I just I will start with a few Timu items and then we'll get into because I like to talk on this channel you guys I don't want to just show stuff and be done so but that's why <laughs> so hopefully that will make this video get accepted but so now let's get into what I would normally start out talking and that's what I'm wearing so I hauled this on my last Timu video this is that really cute sweater that I was influenced to buy by Hey Everybody and the tank dress. Now, I wore this together for you guys because I said that's why I got them, but I don't think that, I don't think this looks right over the tank dress. I think this would definitely look better over just a regular tank top that is a normal length because it seems, you're not going to be able to see it because I can't adjust very well, but it just it seems a little weird wearing it with the dress. So I will probably end up wearing the dress with this sweater, but this sweater doesn't match quite as well as this one does. But, so I really, I really love both of them, but I just don't, it's weird kind of wearing them together. And then I'm wearing my Timu set that I got to go with that boho maxi dress that I've had before and then these you guys these are perfect for, for this I don't know probably aren't gonna look all that they won't look all that great with this one but it looks great with this so this is my pair eyewear which is now on the floor and I'm gonna break it but I have a link for this down below too so um why wear just any old glasses when you can be fashionable with your glasses and you can swap them in and out for all different kinds of styles. So, so yeah, so all my Timu stuff and then I, I get, I pick out pair to match my Timu. And then I've got some earrings that I found at the Salvation Army that I picked up. 
and we won't talk about whether I adequately cleaned those before I just shoved them in my ears. So yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. And also I was gonna talk, so this, the lighting in here, now that I've got this hex light, is like super, super much right here. And so it, um, sorry, I turned my sound off. So it, it like bleaches me out up here, right? And I've been complaining and complaining about my hair and how it's like, I don't know if it's menopause coming because I, I'm not technically in menopause yet, even though I thought I was earlier in the year. But um, I was complaining because I feel like I'm just losing a lot of hair in here. Well, on my phone, I, I don't think I've got, yeah, I don't have, let me, let me find one, maybe. I have a spot on my iPhone that um, goes through pictures, you know, and well, okay, I could show this one. Oh no, wait, that's a video. I think I don't want a video. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, okay. And let me turn on do not disturb when I show this so that if any, sometimes when I get messages or even when you guys are responding to my YouTube videos, it pops down. Oh, I don't want to show that. So here is an old video of me from two years ago. And there's one of my kids, but the same problem with my hair. So this is not new. Like I thought it was, it's just, I guess I just, didn't notice it as much. And look, look at my face. Look how much the Munjaro has helped my face. <laughs> so, so yeah, so, so I, so I was kind of depressed when I saw that just because I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not going to get any better. But I did on my last Timu order, I placed an order on the 4th of July and the 5th of July which will hopefully get here shortly after I return from vacation. But I did order some, one of those shampoo bars that has minoxidil in it to, to see if that helps any, I don't know. I think what we're deciding is this is just gonna be my lot in life. And I, there was another picture that I came across that also had that problem, but it wasn't as noticeable because I was still coloring my hair at the time. And so I think because because this area is totally white now, it just is so much more noticeable to me. I don't know. So anyway, those are the problems that I think about late at night. But okay, so where were we? Let's get back to the hall and keep talking about how much we love Timu. But yeah, I had a, on my July 4th order, I was able to get five free gifts with Timu Circle. And then I think I'd already gotten my just ran normal free gift for, with Timu Circle. And then the next day I could finally see those things under a dollar section again. Like I can't always see that. I, I know I talked about this in the last video, but so I ordered a bunch of stuff then too. I think when I ordered the stuff on the 5th or the 4th of July, I used a $40 off of $200 coupon, and I had over $100 in credit on the account. So that order ended up being maybe 50 bucks, I think, ish. And then my dollar order, I had a $10 off 50 coupon, so I only paid like $35 on that one. Okay. I keep saying, okay, but let's actually do something. So we have something to say, okay, for, all right, this I think is eyeshadow. This is a repeat purchase for me. I love this brand. And I finally hit pan on 
my eyeshadow, one of my eyeshadows in this one, which is sad because I only used like two colors out of this. I'm very repetitive. Okay, it made it okay. So it comes with a nice little thing. And then I think there's three different colors, choices that you can get, but I use this one and this one. And I don't know why I don't use the other ones, except I don't have that many brushes. That's one thing about this, you don't get an applicator, but this is where I should be posing. I haven't done one of these for a long time. Oh, my hands, I can't hold my hands straight. But I need to get some, I think, sponge applicators because I have brushes, but I think I like sponges better. So I need to get some of those so I can maybe use some of these other colors on occasion. But, but anyway, yeah, so I was happy that they still had this because you never know if you fall in love with something on Timu, you never, especially makeup, you never know if they're going to keep carrying it or if it'll sell out or be discontinued. So I was happy that they still had that one. And where did it go? Oh, I wonder, maybe I got this as one of my free gifts. This order, I got five free gifts. One was the regular team and then four. Yeah, it was one of the free ones. So I didn't pay for it, but, and it's now been discontinued, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I got one of those. Does anybody else have it? Well, there's tons, there's tons of other Maybe that's why it was available as a free gift because they were trying to get rid of it. Yeah, there's, there's, you guys know, there's tons of other eyeshadow palettes, but I'm not seeing any other Novo ones. So, okay, well, I got it for free. <laughs> so, and it sucks. Okay. Next, okay, good. So I think it might have been my Dollar Tree haul. I mentioned that I finally have lost some weight in this finger. So this ring is almost always like sideways anymore because if you're gonna lose weight somewhere, it's very crucial. You really, really, really wanna lose it in your fingers. I mean, forget, the, you know, this is great, but you don't want a fat finger. <laughs> so anyway. I, I ordered some of the rings that I like down a size to a size seven, because this is an eight. So we'll see, we'll see if a seven fits. But anyway, I've, I've done this ring on this channel before. I love this ring. And actually the center ring on that is the one that I'm wearing with this, this one. Oh. I have my ring, my, I left my ring thing down here so that, okay, so this is my favorite Timu, I don't know what these are called, the ones that just go around a solitaire. This sells separately from Timu, and I don't think I've gotten one of these yet in a seven, maybe in the order I just placed, but anyway, this is an eight. It came with a, or no, it comes by itself. I ordered a single one like this to go with it, but it wasn't as big as this stone. So this stone is maybe like a three carat stone that I've been putting with it, right? Well, this, this one came from this set. So this is another set two-piece set. It's a little bit different. So let me get the uh, lint and stuff off of this thing. <laughs> but this one kind of goes around, you know, it's not symmetrical. 
and it's connected in the back. And then what I like about this and why I like this one better than the other one I'd been using is because if you can see, oh maybe, it's got ridges in here to keep it in place so it's not moving around. So that's what I like better about it. And it's bigger and who doesn't like a bigger diamond? But anyway, so it fits in here. This part, the, the grooves fit into that. Okay, so it was a little bit tight getting on, but but yeah, I think I can start wearing a size seven now on that finger. So, so yeah, so that's fantastic. And I will just leave that on and I will put this other ring over here so I don't lose it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was sort of like excited when I saw my finger and that my ring wasn't fitting as well anymore because I don't feel like I've lost weight in my hands, but it was making me feel good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so that two piece set now you guys, I have a real wedding ring that my husband bought me that has a real diamond in it. And I like that ring, but I have not worn it and I don't know how long and that's nothing against that, but I love these. They're so, and actually this one, I've been wearing this one for probably a good month and it's not tarnished at all yet. Now, maybe that's because it was starting to get big and it wasn't touching my skin as much, but I wear these in the shower. I wear them to bed, everything. And I love them. And, you know, it used to be a thing where people would go and buy their rings from like Walmart, you know, if, if, you're, if you can't afford to buy a really expensive ring set, people would go and buy that. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm 48 years old and I like wearing these. So no judgment, right? And who's gonna know it's not real? Well, maybe if they were to see it tarnish, but I don't, I don't know. Like I said, they really don't tarnish that much. Okay, so this two piece shimmering zirconia stackable rings for engagement and wedding jewelry. They come it comes in sizes 6 through 10 and I paid 269 got a single price adjustment and today it's 269. And yeah, it doesn't say what size this stone is. But base, the other one that I had did, and it was a two carat, and this was bigger. So I'm just guessing it's a three. And I guess I should say it's got a nice, it's got a nice, um, very strong prong setting. Some, sometimes you can get these rings and they, they look cheap and not well put together. But this one is really... A really nice set. I know some people are like, oh, I can't afford to get married. You know, it's too expensive. Well, here, save yourself some money, go this route, and then maybe that takes care of some of your problem. Okay. Next, this is a repeat buy. I think this might be the fourth time I've bought this. It's really not been that long since I bought one of these before, but I always like to have one unopened. So every time I open one of these, I order another one. And I just opened my last one when I did my Get Ready With Me video a few weeks back.
Oh, good. Plastic and plastic. Where are my scissors? So this is the mushroom cream, mushroom cream. It's a BB cream, cushion cream. I don't know if that's just because there's literally a cushion in here that you use your mushroom sponge on. And there are many different versions of this out on Timu. I always get the Hanru one, but it's probably the exact same. I mean, and most of the other ones have like this look, it's just this box is different. So it's probably all the same thing, but for some reason, I feel like I have to get this one because I have used it and I know it's good. So it does come with a, a mushroom sponge and an organza bag. And okay. And then looks like that. You twist this to open it. And it's got styrofoam in there that you can take out. And then it does have a cover on here too. which slides off and then you can see it's got those holes. So this is the cushion, I believe. So then you just stick your mushroom sponge on it and it makes, you know, like a mandala kind of design on there. And then you just use it on your face like a foundation. And I love it. I haven't ever since I got this for the very first time, I've not used any other foundation on my skin for, I mean, maybe for like you guys for a video, but this is the one that I use every day, every day, every time I care to put on makeup. So that one is my favorite. And that nourishing mushroom air cushion BB cream moisturizes, conceals, and enhances your skin. I don't know if it does all that. I have bad skin, so who knows. But I paid $3.77. Today it's $3.77, and you can get it in ivory or natural color. So obviously this is not marketed for the whole spectrum of women, which is unfortunate. There may be versions of this that are. I just it doesn't I this works for me right so um so I don't know I can't speak to if you have if you're not pale like me I can't speak to whether you can find one out there for you but I love it all right next Well, I said I was going to buy every one of these I could find. I haven't. But these are some more of those polymer clay earrings. They come with backs, but they also come with the silicone, the tiny silicone backs. So, They're in the same family as this one, except this time they've got kind of a, a stone, kind of a gold or a stone kind of top there, which I don't know. I probably won't like these as much, so I'll probably always pick these instead of these, but I wanted to get ones that were a little bit longer. And you can see they're duplicates and they're not symmetrical. And, but I really like these. These, <laughs> these also have some fingerprints on them. So whenever they're taking these out of the mold or whatever, however you make these, they're touching them while they're still wet. So I may, I may do a return on them just because of that. And this one's got a, a bump in it that the other one doesn't have. So 
yeah, this this is the one up here where there's a there's fingerprint. So that that kind of is a turn off. I really, really like these, but yeah, I'll probably do a return on these just because of that. And I have no reason to think that all of them would be like that. Like, I don't think it's in the mold or whatever they use. I think they're just touching them too quickly before they are done. Okay, so I think those were actually one of my free gifts. No, they were not. I take that back. But even if they are, you can return things that you get for free and they will usually give you the value of them. So, okay, there they are. Creative black geometric dangle earrings with colorful flower design, polymer clay jewelry, personality, female gift for Mother's Day. It's they have the same kind of trouble coming up with listing titles that we have coming up with YouTube titles. It is currently, well, wait a second. What did I pay? I paid 314. Those were the small arch. They have four different kinds and the small arch is 314 still. But yeah, I really do like those. I just, it's kind of a turn off when you get a fingerprint in them. Okay, next, we might be down to the outfit for this video. Well, this is definitely an outfit. So this is a jean dress, but we'll see if this is really jean or if it's polyester made to look like jean. It definitely doesn't feel like jeans. And it's very thin. So let's see if I can get. So yeah, it I mean it looks like jeans, but if it is real jean, it's the thinnest jean I've ever seen. But it kind of you know how you can get jeggings. It's kind of like kind of like that. Okay, so this is a obviously a sleeveless v-neck. And it does come with a belt, elastic waist, and yeah, it came with a belt. So it's got your typical jean stitching on it. And, and then it's got a three, I don't know, what would you call this? It's not layers, it's just three sections in the skirt. So it's really cute on the model. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, so I, I had been looking for a jean dress. The jean dress that I really wanted went out of stock before I could get it. So this was my second choice. So this, what did I pay for this first? So I paid $15.53. I got this in a 1XL. It is women's plus size fashion denim v-neck sleeveless dress with waist bow, tie belt, and ruffle hem. Ruffle hem. Okay, so I guess I guess they're saying having each of those layers is ruffles. It comes in sizes 1XL to 5XL, and it's currently 1571. And then here's what it looks like on the pretty model. So I liked how, you know, the bell is kind of, belt is kind of like a sash. And I think that'll look pretty. But again, it's sleeveless. So what what's a girl to do who doesn't show her sleeves, right? So sticking with the jean theme, I got a jean jacket to go over it in white. Now this feels like jeans and it's a short waisted jean jacket with kind of silver chromey kind of fixtures because this is a lamp 
and this also has got a buttonhole with button on the back. It's apparently a do-it-yourself buttoning thing. And then the buttons down the center and fake pockets, but a real button. So we'll try this with that dress and we'll see how that looks in a future video. But that vest, not vest, it has sleeves, so it's a jacket. I paid $15.11. Women's plus size denim jacket, casual style, cropped design, plain white jeans outerwear, summer fashion, versatile streetwear. Uh-oh, it's ready for street walking. And it comes in sizes 0XL to 4XL. I did get the 4XL just because I might be at a point where I could wear a 0XL, but with jeans, you never know if it's going to be a stretchy kind of jean. And I've gotten jean jackets before that are very stiff. So I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a straight jacket. <laughs> and it's currently $15.29. And... Here it is on the model. So it's pretty. So yeah, I hope that'll go well with that dress. And then I think the last item are some shoes that I hope I can wear with it. Yeah, last item. So more sandals, because I can't stop with the sandals, but I thought this might be kind of a cute look with the jeans. So this is like these V's are silver, but I thought it might kind of look blue when I'm wearing it with that, with that dress. So they've got, and these are a 39, so that's hopeful. I bought, or I ordered a seven and a half. It's, it's got a soft kind of it's not overly soft when I squeeze it though, so it's probably a pretty solid platform. But I think it seems like a pretty nice like a look, so we'll see if I can hold my foot up here. And show you. Okay, so I think these fit. There's not, a, there's some space at the top and the bottom, but not like a lot. So it's kind of, it's really hard to show this kind of thing, right? But I think that's a really pretty, a really pretty look on the foot. So, so yeah, so that's, those are the shoes I got to go with that dress and we'll see. Now the question, I think I'll probably end up wearing my white glasses with those because I don't have any kind of denim blue frames that I can wear. But anyway, these sandals, I paid 1086. They are women's braided wedge heeled sandals, casual open toe platform shoes, comfortable slip on sandals. And they do feel pretty comfortable. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna I don't feel like anywhere's rubbing to where I'm going to get blisters or that kind of thing. And let me show you a better shot of someone wearing them. So I think those will be great. And it'll make me a little taller. <laughs> so that's always helpful, especially if that dress ends up being kind of long. But those shoes come in sizes five and a half to eight and a half. And they come in white, which is what I got, or black, or sepia. Oh, the sepia ones are pretty. And then the black. So, yeah, I'm happy with those. So finally, finally some sandals that are gonna work, I think. All right, well that is those are all the items that I had to show you guys today. And 
Uh, I'm curious, so this isn't just a shameless plug to get comments. Although, let me tell you something about comments. I read all the comments, but what I've discovered is if I comment on a comment or, you know, heart a comment or whatever, if you guys reply to my reply, I don't see those. Those don't show up in the YouTube creator section for comments. So I want to just apologize. If anybody has like tried to maintain a conversation with me in, in a comment, I know I get an email, I think for every comment, but I get so many emails that that all gets lost. So I really only see that initial comment. So if for some reason I reply to you and you want to reply again, you might just create a new comment. I mean, I, I'm not doing that to ask for more comments. Don't take it that way. But I'm afraid that maybe some of you have continued conversations and I'm just, I'm just gone at that point. So just something to, to consider. But no, I was going to say, I'm curious. I, I try to get these scheduled to post at like noon central time. And I'm curious, when do you guys, I know, I know my algorithms will show me like when people typically watch my videos, but I'm curious if it would be better if I posted like at five in the evening or six or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It does. Why does it matter? If you guys are subscribed and have clicked the bell, you, you find, or you get told whenever I put one out there, but I'm just kind of curious. Uh, my, my videos don't really get a lot of views anymore, which is fine, but I'm curious if maybe it's because I'm always posting them at noon. But anyway, here I am worrying about all kinds of stuff that doesn't matter. So I am really appreciative for you watching this video and spending some time with me and thank you for coming and checking out what I got and wherever you are, whenever you are, I hope you're having a great day and until we meet again, Hmm. It's like I want to want to start saying something different. Like last time I was like, eat some sushi. Uh, but maybe, yeah, let's just say take care of yourself because why am I trying to reinvent the wheel? But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.